everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining today we're going to talk about safety when we're traveling how do we make sure that we are safe when we're in another country or even in a in another town what is it that we need to do to make sure that we're safe i'm going to go over 10 things that you need to pay attention to when you're traveling so if you're gonna go internationally, one of the first things that you should really do is research your destination to make sure that you know if there's anything that you need to know about. Register with the Traveler's Program. Um, there's a STEP program, I'll put the link below and make sure that you register because they can notify you if there's ever anything that happens in that country and that way if anyone needs to get in touch with you they can uh, reach out to you I think that's really important and in that research um, go look at some vlogs look at some YouTube videos about people who have gone to those destinations and find out what they have to say um, right now when you're watching this video I'm going to be in Greece but I'm on my way to Egypt and I watched a lot of videos about Greece and Egypt and I'm really looking forward to experiencing them and sharing information with you but in the meantime when you go someplace it's really nice to do your research ahead of time and find out what you might expect I know for me going to Egypt um, was just something that I never thought I would do and then here I am going so I really wanted to make sure that I knew I was going so number two is be aware of the different common scams that they have um, for example don't get into a taxi if they say oh I'm sorry the meters broken because that could be a scam and they could overcharge you pay attention to the you know when you're doing your research you'll you'll find the different things that can happen and get and you can get scammed in another country so for us for me when um, my ex-husband and I when we were in Naples we were told to be careful when you get off the train in Naples because um, you can get scammed really easily and so we were all prepared we all we knew something could happen to us but we were sideswiped we had no idea so we get off the train and we're trying to get onto the train to go to Sorrento. And so we were looking around. We really weren't paying attention because we were confused. And this little guy comes up to us and takes our bag. And he asks us, where are you going? And we say, well, we're going to Sorrento. And they, he took our bag and started running with our bag to take us to the train station in Sorrento. And we're just like, oh, my God. You know, so we're following this guy. And then he's like, give me 20 bucks. And, you know, we're like, but you just took our bags. Anyway, we had to give him 20 bucks. It wasn't anything that we would have, we could have done it on our own, but we got scammed. We did. And so that really made us aware that we need to pay attention. So that's just an example because scams will happen everywhere. If you're not paying attention, like we weren't paying attention at that time. So the other thing too is pay it is is transportation. So when you're going somewhere, find out what is um, the best way to get around, and is the subway or metro safe? Are taxis okay? Are there Ubers? Um, when you're going to your hotel, the hotel staff are really great at giving you information as well. Find out what they recommend you do and um, just kind of being aware of your surroundings and how to get around is really important um, to make sure that you're nice and safe and so you don't want to leave your bags unattended when you go anywhere so one of the things that i have and i've showed you a few times is this waterproof pouch um, so when you're at the beach or at the pool um, when you're going to go into the water you can put your valuables in here and you don't have to leave them um, unattended because you really want to make sure you keep your stuff safe I also have this travel on backpack and it's slash proof so someone can't come and slash these bands and it also has if you can see it has these hooks so you can hook here if I could do it <laughs> so I can't even hook it they won't so there you go so if someone were trying to unzip your backpack every zipper has one of those locks so you can think about making sure you find something that 
is going to protect your backpack and if you have a lock for your suitcase you can do that just be aware of where you're leaving your items five something that's really uh you don't want to walk around looking lost you want to make sure that if you're lost that you go into a restaurant or you go somewhere where you can gather your senses look at your map figure it out don't wander around wondering you know letting someone say oh that person that person doesn't know what they're doing uh, I'm gonna take advantage of them so make sure that you exude confidence and don't look like you're you're really lost it's kind of like what we did in Naples we definitely didn't know what we we're doing and we got taken advantage of number six don't dress too don't stand out too much uh, with your clothes try to dress like a local when you can because when you are dressed in something that is really out of character of the country that you're in then people are going to know that you're a tourist and they might want to target you and take advantage of that number seven keep your purse and your wallet close to you so with my purse when I carry it when I'm holding it like this I keep it towards my front and I always kind of have my arm around it I think it's really important to make sure you're aware and you keep your purse and if you have a wallet keep it in front or have a way that you can make sure that someone can't put their hand in your pocket and take your wallet out and that you have your zipper zipped up don't let everything hang out and keep your purse wide open don't just put it on your shoulder and just let it hang on the side because someone could go in and take it I was reminded that I was gonna put my passport in a snapped front and I was reminded that that was not a good idea. Make sure you keep your passports and all your really important documents in a zippered pouch. And that's why this is such a great purse. I'll keep it everything in here. And I think that's a really great idea. And number eight, don't keep a lot of cash with you. And when you're at the ATMs, of course, pay attention to your surroundings and make sure that you're not in a seedy area trying to get your money. When you get your money out of the ATM, don't count it there. Put it in your purse and go count it in a safer place. You want to make sure that you're not counting your money out in the street and, and showing that you have cash. You want, to, you want to be a little more discreet to make sure that people don't see that. Number nine, trust your gut. When you feel that something might not be right, it might not be right. If something is too good to be true, it's probably too good to be true so if someone's gonna give you a really good deal or if something is free or if something sounds just not right trust your gut and know that maybe it's not right be a little skeptical but that doesn't mean you have to be jaded but just be aware because no one wants to be taken advantage of number 10 pay attention to your surroundings walk with confidence make sure that you I think I've said this earlier but make sure you don't look like you're lost um, ask the locals ask the hotel um, for any tips and just circling it back around to do your research and make sure you know something of the place that you're going it doesn't mean you have to spend hours and hours and hours studying it because you can ask people when you're there but also be aware of who you ask because for example if you say if you ask a taxi driver is it safe to go XYZ and they say, oh no 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 you need to take a taxi you need maybe that's not the best source but talk to your hotel people talk to the local people that you might meet in a coffee shop and um, and then just have fun just pay attention to what you're doing and just have fun because the experience even bad experiences still end up being experiences and we and we learn from them what can you say right when everything's good happen or great but there's always going to be some mishap maybe and you just have to take it um, as part of the experience the experience of traveling and getting to know another country or getting to know another state it's just really fun so um, oh one last thing that I wanted to say is 
Travel insurance is something that you should really consider when you're going to another country and make sure you have the medical part to it. And while it might cost you a couple hundred dollars more, if anything should happen, then you're protected. And I know when for this trip that I'm taking, I got travel insurance because I just wanted to make sure if I got sick or if anything should happen. Thinking about how COVID has entered our lives and it changed the way we think of things. So I don't want to get I don't want to get stuck. I want to have the insurance. And for my little puppy who's there sleeping, he was so sick and I did not have pet insurance. Uh, I kept thinking, oh my God, I should get pet insurance, and I never did. And anyway, he ended up being sick, very sick. So I pray for him, <laughs> and I hope you pray for him too to make sure that he recovers fully. And thank you so much for watching. I'm really glad you're here. If you like this video, if you feel that this video has any value at all, I would love a thumbs up, a like. It would really help grow this channel. And... Um, Thank you for coming. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Have a great day and ciao for now.